you know, anybody who's been following my story, um, same thing that's happening with my family is happening with this medical system. I'm being scapegoated. And I'm being <coughs> smeared. You know, I gave an example. <clears throat> trying to figure out how, what example to use. Um, you know, when you're in a family that lies and gaslights to cover up what they have done to you or done to each other. You can be in a family and everything, everything is peppered with lies or it's the truth is tweaked, the truth is changed. Everyone's got an agenda. Everyone changes the truth to be something that they need it to be for, for whatever their agenda is. And, and um, you know, it's not necessarily always a diabolical agenda. One person's agenda might be, oh, well, I'm a Christian, so let's just, let's just, let's just say nice things about it, uh, uh, each other. Now, let, you know, when you're trying to work out trauma and you're, you want to speak about the truth, you want to talk about some stuff that happened in the family. And no, they, they want to crush your words they don't want to face what you're saying. They don't want it to be as bad as it is or was. <clears throat> one person's notorious for the... Well, they all are, but one person in particular really always wants me to think things weren't as bad as I think they were. No, they were. That's gaslighting, right? You're messing with someone's mind when you're trying to minimize the truth for your own comfort when you when you can't when you're not mature enough to face difficult conversations <clears throat> so you want to change the truth you want the truth to match where you want to be right now so for example let's see something horrific happened in the family one horrific event and they they want to say well it wasn't that bad you know you know what it, it is that bad if if most of the family has tried to unalive because of it you know like you can't just it's gaslighting you're messing with someone's head right but people will gaslight in that manner and deny all for lots of different reasons because they don't want to admit that they were wrong they don't want to admit that they've done harm they don't want to admit the reality of a loved one like let's say they don't want to they don't want to know or see how bad a brother or a sister or a parent really is or they don't they can't handle talking about some terrible things that someone has done right so Rather than say, you know what, I, my mind can't handle this, so talk to somebody else. They will say, that never happened, you're exaggerating, you're this, you're that. No, it did happen. You, you just can't face any of it. Or you weren't there. This, you know, there's another bizarre phenomenon. Uh, family members saying that they were there when they weren't. Well, I was there, that never happened. No, you weren't. You were not there. You were not at the house. You know, like, I'm not talking about any one incident. There are loads of times like this. If you're, if you're with a family who does that, minimizing, lying, gaslighting, covering up. When I got into the medical system, when things got worse and worse in the medical system for me, I realized this the medical system is exactly like a dysfunctional family there, there are people who have made errors caused harm made mistakes and they would rather 
die than apologize or they'd rather you die than admit what's really happening. What, admit the harm that they cause or the misdiagnosis or the injury from surgery. They, and always, just like in a dysfunctional family or the dysfunctional healthcare system, they will say you're dilute. They, they use the exact same language. Manipulative people will use the exact same language. You're delusional. You're crazy. You're. It's not happening. You're bipolar. You're you're this. You're that. You're the other thing, right? Any. I was blown away when this got real bad, like six years ago, fighting for my life, fighting for health care. I realized that I was witnessing the exact same behaviors. And there are people, chronically ill people, who have seen that as well. And I don't buy... I don't mean all doctors are doing this, but there are lots of doctors who will go along with it because they can't fix it. They, they're not going to speak against other doctors. So it, it's anybody who's followed my story, it's the exact same bloody thing. I, I bumped into a an old friend of mine when I was a teenager. Uh, I bumped into her one of her parents. And now our parents are like 90, right? Our parents are like 90 years old now. I bumped into her mom not that long ago, uh, like two years ago, at down the street at a, a public thing. And she said hello, and I said hello. I think she must, must have noticed the look on my face. And we really, we really lacked respect for our parents because our parents were not not parenting us. Our parents were doing lots of crap. Our parents were out of control. There were times I used to pray that we would be taken away, taken into foster care. And we had little respect. And I remember all that crap. It's hurtful to be a teenager and need parents and you don't have parents. And uh, I was witnessing this with my friend's parents as well. <laughs> and when, when she said hello, my, the memories, she must have saw the memories coming across my face. And she changed her tone and she said, you know what? I was so screwed up in those days. I was such a mess. And I was a party girl. And, um, well, you know what that means, right? And I have since apologized to my adult children, and I have made it up to my children and my grandchildren, and I'm no longer that person today. And it was just so amazing to hear that. It, it honestly felt like she was apologizing to me. I walked away having so much respect for her that she had the balls to admit what she had done at, uh, to... to to be truthful about who she was back then, to admit what she had done, and to say that she was rectifying all of that with her children. And I walked away with so much respect, and I felt almost like she had apologized to me as well. She didn't own, oh, she didn't owe me an apology. But my family would rather die than, than do that, than apologize admit what they've done. In fact, when I started to want to resolve things and talk about things with my own parent, I was shocked at, you know what, how many decades later and we're still denying and, and lying about stuff. I am, I, 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 I am shocked and just beyond disappointed because I expected far better behavior, right? And just same with healthcare. You, you want to talk about stuff, and you expect integrity, right? You expect diplomatic, respectful behavior, and 
it's not at all what you should expect because <coughs> it's often not the case yeah what what's happening with my family <coughs> I went to my family 12 years ago to talk about an issue with another family member my family crucified me my family started to lie about me that was it my other my sibling jumped all over that and he raised me from the family uh, like smear smear campaign I was erased from the family as my con health continued to decline a key arm malformation the benzodiazepine withdrawal and the Zocalon withdrawal that almost killed me my family was lying about that and saying that wasn't true Assuming that I'm an addict, assuming that it isn't happening, assuming that the withdrawal, that I'm not dependent, I'm a, an addict, assuming that the Chiari malformation isn't real. These people are living in a dreamland, and these are the very people that are supposed to be helping me with this healthcare system who are just like they are. And God help you if you're on. Psych drugs, which I'm off all the medications. God help you if you're on psych drugs and, you know, uh, I was dumbed down from the medications. God help you if you can't navigate any of this. Mind you, you know, I, I can see it all. It's not that it helps me because I can't put a stop to it. I can't wake my family up. I can't get health care, but I'd rather know the truth than not. It's nice to know why you're being gaslighted, why you're being smeared. It's very disappointing, but I do like the truth. Why you're being lied about. And, and some of my family members work in health care which sadly gives them more credibility than me. But hopefully there's people who can hear the truth. There are lots of doctors out here who believe me, and locally. But they don't know how to fight through the mess, through the all the bad blood that doctors created for me. 